We're also following some developing news this morning in Bloomfield, where police are investigating two separate racially charged incidents, and now town officials are condemning the alleged behavior. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eva Zamaris joins us live. And Eva, tell us, where do the investigation stand? Well, good morning to Eric. We know from Bloomfield Police the investigations are active and ongoing. And these recent incidents sparked a protest in town this upcoming weekend. One week after hundreds joined on the Bloomfield Town Hall Green to protest racism, police in town are investigating two recent alleged incidents of racial harassment. The first happened on June 4th at the Silas Dean Pawn Shop. The mayor's office tells Eyewitness News an African-American woman and her eight-year-old son were harassed by a man from Granby while they were shopping for bicycles. We're told this man verbally attacked them using racial slurs. Following this incident, the store released a statement saying in part, quote, here at Silas Dean Pond, we strongly believe in racial equality and inclusion. We strive to support our community and all of those in it. And a few days later, Bloomfield police say 56-year-old Michael Fannin displayed a gun towards a young African-American man who was walking in his own neighborhood. Here's what Bloomfield's mayor had to say. Bloomfield, we are better than this. We are an amazing town with amazing people, very diverse and very welcoming. And we continue to fight to make sure that Bloomfield is the best town in the state of Connecticut. As I mentioned, these recent incidents prompted a protest to be held this weekend. It's happening on Saturday at 11 o'clock in the morning on the town green. I will have much more on the story coming up in our next half hour. Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.